As we dive deeper into what makes something living and cells, we're going to actually look a little bit at what builds cells. Um, so considering matter and the things that make up all the living things that we discussed during the course of the semester. So what exactly is matter? It's something that has mass and takes up space. So this is something you hopefully covered in sixth grade where you're looking at things that are physical. You might not be able to see them. They could be air, um, but other examples would be things like water or ice or rocks or plants or people, but non-living things like tables, the floor, soil, things you can't see, the air, maybe it's something like helium, other gases that are invisible for us to see. Those would all be matter. If it is an idea or something that isn't physical, that's not made of atoms, then it's not considered matter. So what makes up matter? Matter is made of small particles. They're the smallest unit of a substance that makes up matter. So you could shorten that up to say a particle is what makes up matter. And particles come in a couple of different forms. We'll focus on an atom and a molecule. So an atom is the smallest unit of matter. It is the smallest thing that still has all the characteristics or properties of any particular substance. A molecule is a particle that has two or more atoms chemically combined, so stuck together, we could think of it that way for now. And those molecules could be made of two of the same type of atom, like this one here, or they could be make, made up of multiple types of atoms, like these here, or they could be made up of many, many more atoms than just two or three. So an atom is a single one individual piece of matter and a molecule is more than one atom stuck together or chemically combined. And those atoms and molecules make up what are, we call pure substances. So a pure substance is a substance or something that is made out of one type of a particle. And that particle could be atom or it could be a molecule or it could be both. So it's a substance made out of only one type of atom, and we call that an element. So you've heard of these things like oxygen and hydrogen and helium and neon. Those are all, or gold, examples of elements that are made of one specific type of atom. And they could come in the form of an individual atom, or they could come in the form of a molecule, so two or more atoms combined. But they're all the same type. Another type of pure substance would be a compound. So this is a molecule. This is a substance that is made up of more than one type of atom chemically combined, but they're all the same molecule. So this would be an example of H2O. So I have two hydrogens and an oxygen. And everything that would be in this container or substance that we're talking about would be made up of this specific type of molecule. But note that this molecule is made up of two different types of atoms. Element has one type of atom. Compound, more than one type of atom linked together, chemically combined. So we'll discuss this further as it's concerned with cells and how cells work and function.